Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, O, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, what's up, what's popping, what's up, baby, what's going on in the life of a Saggy, what's going on these days, I ain't heard from y'all in a nice little minute, y'all was quiet during the mid-month, I said my Saggy baby must be going through something, and I also feel the energy of y'all going through something, y'all piecing it back together, it's all right. If you had to start over, just know this, boo. Ain't nowhere to go but up. What is you waiting for? All right? So, <laughs> this, of course, will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers of the sun sign. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius. You know, I'm from Texas. We slow everything down. Ooh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Hey, y'all don't know nothing about that chop and screw music. Nothing. All right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot Channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, boo, hey. Um, I would like to thank all of the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Baby, we cry, we talk shit, we cuss. The last thing we do here is judge. We don't judge. We do enlighten. We grow. We evolve. You understand me? This retrograde is that if you have to let stuff go in order to win, so in order to get your get your gains up. All right, I don't know about y'all, Sandy, but this damn Mercury retrograde got me stuttering. So if I stutter, stay the hell with me, okay? You know what the hell I was trying to say, like Big Mommy. You know what the hell I was trying to say. All right. So, <laughs> all right, this will be from the 1st to the 15th of August. Of course, you know, this is not a personal. It is a general, meaning that it may or may not apply with everybody, resonate with everybody. If it does not, I'm sorry. Maybe this wasn't your month. You could also go check your moon sign, your rising, and your Venus day. Okay? So, we're going to get right into it. You know, I know y'all don't like long intros. Y'all got shit to do. All right? So, Sagittarius, for the month of August from the 1st to the 15th, what I got for you guys uh, from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards from Doreen, Doreen Virtue is Lapis Lazuli. Life-changing epiphany or experiences. It's a time of big and blessed change for you, and God is supporting you each step of the way. I feel like a lot of y'all, I'm hearing that y'all need to trust y'all dreams. Trust your dreams because your dreams are revealing things to you. A lot of y'all are having a lot of deja vu moments, okay? Um, it's not, you didn't been here before, Sag. Okay? You have a, you have a people to see in a play, in a place to be. All right? And a lot of y'all know it. And some of y'all are wanting to avoid it, but you can't avoid it. You know? God is talking to you. Open the mirrors up. Your life is about to change. With blessings supporting your progress and learning and growing. This card signals that you're reaching a pivotal moment when you will make a life-changing decision. You will also have an epiphany that seems to turn your life upside down. Perhaps you realize the truth about yourself, a relationship, your health, or your career. Facing truths can be frightening, yet it's also freeing. Lapis lazuli can also signal transformation on your spiritual path. You may return to core beliefs, connect with Mother Mary, who is associated with the color blue, and lapis. Or awaken your natural spiritual gifts. A lot of y'all are also, your third eye is opening, okay? I strongly see that for my Sagittarius, all right? Some of y'all are welcoming in children or possibly having issues with your father during this time, but your third eye is definitely opening with it doing so. You're starting to see things a bit differently. So for the first of the 15th, some of y'all are in love. And the people who I'm talking about that's in love, these are the people who don't want, I don't want to be committed. I don't want it, but you know what, though? Somebody didn't lock you down, lock you down. Somebody's going to lock you down between the 1st and the 15th. A lot of y'all will not end this year single, for those of you who have been single. Sadies, <clears throat> going back to this father issue, a lot of y'all are come going through a transformation. If you are a father, if this is your child's father, if this is your father, if maybe uh, you're having to... Um, Get out of that regretful, resentful energy if your father wasn't there for you, okay? Because I felt like some of y'all, y'all were raised by life straight, straight like that. Some of y'all, life raised you. You maybe didn't have your father around. And for some of y'all, this could have created cycles when it comes to your own children. Okay, so a lot of that, you, some of y'all will be thinking about that a lot between the 1st and the 15th and really healing those issues through, during this retrograde and allowing this um, Mercury retrograde, Mars retrograde, Venus retrograde, Neptune retrograde energy to assist you in moving forward with your transformation. Do not be afraid if you have an out-of-body experiences. Y'all are transmutable energy, meaning that you mutate 
negative energies into positives. And you don't have to necessarily do that on just this dimension alone, okay? It's a sensitive subject. A lot of folks, if you talk about some of the shit that you know, Saggy, you're learning that you're having to detach from people, okay? You're detaching from people because you're not the same as who you were six months ago. You're a whole nother person. And if these people can't love you through it, then maybe, baby, have you, have you thought about the fact that they're not meant to go with you, okay? I see a lot of y'all will be holding on to y'all coin between the first and the 15th. Y'all trying to stay grounded and hold your tempers. Please do so, okay? Um, especially with dealing with, I feel like, an earth sign. Some of y'all are trying to hold, um, hold a, hold a relationship together, hold on to a relationship. And it seems like, that you have several choices, or this person can have several choices. Okay, but I feel like this is more so sad. You watch the snakes because some of y'all got people around y'all. Aquarius had this card. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, watch the snakes, though. I feel like <clears throat> some of y'all are starting over, okay, with this choice. But you're, cho you're starting over and it, your success is based on the decisions in which you make, okay? So I feel like, like I told them, you had three doors. You can stay living in this door of sorrow, sadness, resentment, what was and what have been in the past, or you can move to the door of the unknown. This is the door of blind faith, okay? I feel like this is the door of enlightenment, okay? Learning something. And when I look at the apple, I immediately think the door of fruition, the door of abundance, okay? A lot of y'all have walked through this door of sorrow and you're having to choose which door is more abundant for you, which door is best served. I feel like this door has to do strongly, I usually don't tie signs, but this door has to do with the things that you're holding inside. You may intuitively know some things that you're not speaking of. I say that you're not speaking because the swords you generally symbolize communication. The sword is turned upside down. So you're not speaking about some things that you intuitively know, even though these things are sticking with you. Okay. So you don't want to go through the door of indecisiveness is what I feel like this door could also signalize as well. But I feel like this is the door of the unknowing. Okay, it's the door of the unknowing. It's getting to know. This is the door of truth. Getting to know those truths. And then deciding if you're going to stay behind that door, walk out and walk past this sorrowful last door where you've been at. And walk through the door of abundance, okay? Well, the path is very narrow. Everybody can't go with you. Hence, that fucking snake is outside them damn doors waiting. They want to they wanna slide right on in with you and snake they own, snake their way past. And unfortunately, the most high, the universe, your angels are not going to allow that to happen. But you have to make a choice, okay? <clears throat> so, Sagi, some of y'all could want to bring balance uh, possibly to a situation with someone who you love. This person could be a Taurus. Whatever the situation is, it's definitely going to be. Some of y'all are balancing the way that you looked at a three-party situation, balancing out your feelings, or trying to bring balance to a three-party situation that brought your life some type of conflict. Some of y'all want to um, bring the balance back to this person. This could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius who put you in a a conflict and situation, or this could also be a Taurus who could possibly be married to someone and you feel like you're in this third party, okay? I do see that... Um, some of y'all, again, are going through cycles, okay? You, you're moving out of cycles, okay? And it's cycles of resentment. Some of y'all could definitely be a father uh, or have father issues, issues with your father or a father figure, okay? But I feel like you're going into a new cycle. You're coming out of this cycle in the way that you view things, okay? Because I feel like y'all have been feeling like you're stuck, okay? In a particular cycle that you can't break the change from, all right? But it's about moving away from your past in a victorious way not looking and, and i feel like this is more so a perception thing okay you're gonna have to do during this time a lot of y'all are going to be changing the way that you view things all of these past people that's coming back during this retrograde a lot of y'all going to be moving away from them some of y'all are going to be moving away from a gemini Libra aquarius some of y'all will be traveling to see someone possibly from your past to give them some form of truth or be receiving some form of truth from someone from the past in order to move forward this truth or you, this you could be giving or receiving this truth could involve uh, someone in the past, this could be a mother, a baby's mother, or your mother, but it could involve some form of truth and clarity, okay? This could be the mother of your child, or it could be about something that you're trying to create. But whatever it is, after you receive this truth and clarity and get past uh, the way that you look at things, get past and actually learn the lesson around the, this deception that's coming forward, okay? I do see that there is victory in moving forward. Some of y'all are moving forward towards a fire sign. Some of y'all are moving away from a fire sign. Some of y'all are coming 
coming out of a cycle, okay, and you're ascending and you're growing, you're evolving. So you're moving away from people from your past, some some of your friends, some of your family. You're moving away from the way that you used to do things, turning it back on your path and moving forward towards your journey, okay, in a truthful manner, in a victorious manner, and leaving away, leaving behind sneaky people, sneaky situations, and sneaky way of doing shit. Yeah, some of y'all want to uh, have an equal give and take. Possibly if you were in a three-party situation, uh, this could be um, with your children, uh, with the side with the side boo, the main boo. Because we live in 2018. We just don't go and keep it funky. You understand? But I do see that there is, if you were dealing with a Taurus who wasn't giving you an uh, equal give and take, you feel like you was putting in more into the relationship with this person. Maybe you actually want to marry this person. This person wants to marry you. There will be an equal level of give and take, okay? If we're dealing with the earth sign, I strongly feel. This could also involve children. This could even be uh, child support, supporting a child, okay? All right, some of y'all definitely have a cancer coming in. This cancer could have put you in a third party situation in the past. This person wants to come in and be, and be, they're, they're being apologetic, but for some of them, they don't know how to do it. So they may just give you some money. Take it. Because I feel like those of you going through financial hardships, your pride going to be your biggest killer if you don't get out the way of it. Okay. And I'm an Aries. So I have the permission to say this shit because you know, our pride be big as a damn building. Okay. But that has to die. All right. I do see some of y'all could actually have a tile moment coming in. If you have, you've been defensive towards the cancer, okay? You have cancer being defensive towards you due to a third party situation. Oh man, this person is coming in. They want to apologize. Or if they're coming in still defensive, they're expecting an apology out of you because this is how you made them feel, Sagi. Or this could be the other way around. Uh, for some of y'all, this could be an air sign. Maybe a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius put you in a third party situation with a, uh, with the cancer or a Scorpio. And you found out about it, and maybe you walked away from the relationship. I feel like I'm talking to somebody who's married. You found out about it, you walked away from it, but now this person is wanting to come in and put in the work. Sagittarius, you are going through, yeah, the hangman fell on top of this world called Sagittarius. You're coming out of a cycle and going into a new one, okay? The divine is wanting you to trust your intuition during the first of the 15th of August. As far as these options go, you're going to victoriously move fat, move uh, way fast and way ahead past these people coming from the past who you just, because some of them you could literally just smell the stank off their ass. When they come back, you just smell the stink off the ass. You've gone through that much of the evolution of evolving within the self, ascending within the self that you really on your best. No, I don't want no part of you, the drama, your mom and them and every damn thing y'all bought. I ain't got no money for you. Don't call me no more. Okay. Some of y'all, some of y'all are moving, traveling to see someone, possibly in Aries. I feel like you want to turn a situation around that possibly happened in the past. Okay. Some of y'all could also be uh, trying to turn a situation around or moving forward or away from or moving forward towards a Taurus. OK, you look at this person as being very fruitful, very, very abundant. OK, are you waiting for them to communicate with you? Because maybe they left you feeling rejected or maybe they feel like this at you, that you left them feeling rejected. Like you see everybody but me, you know, some of y'all are moving away from the past in order to start new love. I told you not in this you're not in this year single. Some of y'all are moving right towards your twin flame, which could be a water sign, cancer Pisces, Scorpio, strong emphasis on the cancer and the Scorpio. Some of y'all are going to be getting some truth or receiving truth. You're gonna take that leap of faith and go deliver some truth or receive truth from an Aries. Okay? Um, or you just could just be taking a leap of faith to go and deliver some truth to an air sign as well, or receiving truth from an air sign. And this person, when they're delivering this truth, if it's coming to you, Saggy. They are taking a leap of faith in doing so. Yeah, you're going to be able to move victoriously forward, okay, after receiving some some form of truth and clarity, okay? And this could be from a Gemini Libra Aquarius, and maybe this person cut you off in the past, okay? But for some of y'all who were cut off by Gemini Libra Aquarius, once you receive this truth and clarity, you're actually going to be physically moving away from these people, and you're going to find success in doing so. And success in, yeah, in doing so. That's the Seven of Swords here, yeah. I told you, we're moving away from these sneaky people, especially if you had an air sign in the past, Gemini Libra Aquarius, who did something sneaky. Some of y'all who, <laughs> some of y'all who had an air sign or earth sign using y'all for money, y'all gonna move away from this person, okay? And actually, you're gonna move away from this person, and moving away from this person will actually bring the blessing down, okay? Some of y'all are definitely gonna be moving forward by yourself, focusing on your money, trying to create something new, okay? Some of y'all definitely have new jobs, and you're leaving the job, and somebody kind of snakes you at the job, 
and got you fired, just know you have a better job coming. And the fact that it's the eight of pentacles with the with the nine of pentacles, a lot of y'all are going to create this by yourself. Okay. Yeah, some of y'all, okay, some of y'all are going to make an offer to someone, possibly a mother figure. Um, or you could have a mother figure. You could be the mother figure making the offer, but you have an offer coming from a mother figure. This person could be a Virgo or Taurus, okay? Um, this person could also be a Libra or an Aries, but you want to reunite your family, Sandy. You want a family, you, you want to reunite, okay? Um, you want to make an offer to this person, and the offer that you want to make to this person is a tangible one. You want to help them financially, okay? You want to mend your family together. You actually want to come together and create with this person at this time, okay? I feel like a lot of y'all are cutting people, places, things off, and you're making a decision in order to be very honest with yourself and others in the in your journey and moving forward, especially if it involves a situation around a child or a family, okay? I do see um, here, yeah, you're cutting off somebody and you're moving away from your past to move forward towards your twin flame. For some of y'all, it's regarding a Gemini. You could be cutting off a Gemini and moving forward, if you had a Gemini from the past, but I strongly feel like you're moving away from your past and moving towards this person. For some of y'all, y'all make this person in the month of June. You making a some of y'all make definitely having a decision to make between the mother of your child or a mother. This could even be you and somebody else's decision, uh Sagi. Somebody had a decision to make, especially if it's another fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. I feel like this person uh could be the mother. Um could be the mother of your children, or you could be the mother of someone else's children. But if you got left out in the cold, this person is coming back to tell you why they left you out in the cold, or you're telling someone why they why you left them out in the cold, and then you're gonna be able to move forward into a new cycle with this person. This could also be a Leo. Just have strength, okay? Have strength and move forward in a passionate way. You are gonna have to leave some people behind, but I'm trying to tell you, the Ten of Pentacles came out fast and furious. I'm sorry, fast and furious. Just take that leap of faith and make a decision, Sadie. For some of y'all, y'all are definitely starting over and just moving forward very passionately. Okay, you see that voice back there? <laughs> y'all moving forward very passionately. Y'all leaving people placing things. I'm getting the hell up out of here. For some of y'all, y'all are definitely missing on all areas, okay? But I love y'all very much. This is what I have for y'all between the 1st and the 15th of August. If you need that personal, I do have uh, reading specials going on for the next 48 to 72 hours. So that information can be found within the description and within another video. I love y'all, boo. Mwah.